Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about this very rare Mercedes-Benz CLK 55. It's not rare just because it's a CLK 55. What makes this particular car rare is it's a CLK 55 and it's an update. What that means, it's got the much newer looking tail lights. It had a number of updates on the interior as well. It's got the widescreen navigation, and it's got the different looking buttons at the top there. See how they're squared off at the top? The older ones are actually rounded. What also makes this car very rare is it's in absolutely immaculate condition and it's a car which you really need to come in and have a look at to appreciate it. It's also got a very good service history and it's done 119,000 kilometres. It's got push button start, it comes in metallic black with two tone black. and red leather interior. So it's got a plane flying over there. We're only 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. It's got two keys. I said it really needs to be seen to be appreciated. One of the best things I like about these is just a naturally aspirated 5.5 litre V8. There's no superchargers or turbos or anything. And this was the last of the 55 before they went to the 63. Look, in some ways, I think the 55's probably a slightly better engine and that it's, in my experience, more reliable. We'll open up the log, but you can see how thick it is. It's got a spare key. We'll just look at the log, uh, service book at this stage. So, oh. Got some information at the back. Here we go. So. The last service was done 114,000 kilometres at International Auto House in Zetland, where it had a major service. I don't think I've actually seen a service on a car where it's had so many things ticked. So we've got engine oil, fuel filter, coolant, charcoal filter, hot film air mass meter, spark plugs, air cleaner, brake fluid. Gosh, unbelievable. That must have been a major service. Those at 114,000 kilometres, it was also serviced at 109, 92, 86, 81, 76, 64, 48, 34 and 16. So that's a very good service history. If you are looking for a CLK AMG, especially if you're looking for a 55, I'm going to tell you now you will not find a better car than this one in terms of condition and service history. I think the update looks significantly better. The pre-update had a red line through the back of the light there. I, I literally can't see a single dent, mark, scratch on the car whatsoever. Surely one of the wheels would have some gutter rash on it. But it, it just doesn't. It's a very special car. It's been very well looked after. It's just nice to see. I really wish that all the cars we got were like this one. Service properly, immaculate condition. A lot of the features were stand on the AMG, but it does have obviously parking sensors, xenon lights, heated seats, memory seats, electric seats, sunroof. Even the brakes are in good condition. The tyres, the leather. Okay, it's a CLK, obviously the leather getting in and out of the car is going to be severely worn. It's not, sorry about the light, it's a bit dark today. Really is absolutely beautiful, I think we need to, to start this car. nice and quiet when it starts. It's very smooth as you would expect your car with such a good service history. Rear blind, 
heated seats, navigation, climate control, push button start. Got the adjustments for the seats as well. I mean, normally these little buttons have come off over the years. Yeah, it really is a special car. I actually challenge you to find a better one. I think it's very well priced at what we're asking. With an AMG, you really can't just go price low to high, let's see what I can buy. You really need to buy the best one you can find. So if you don't buy a good one, it may in fact, despite the fact that the purchase price might be cheap, it's probably going to be one of the most expensive cars you'll own. So you've got to buy a good one. Generally, if it's in good condition like this car outside, it's generally in good condition in, inside the interior and the engine. And normally there's always something to be done. There's always a dent, it's due for a service. It's registered in another state, whatever it might be. The wheels are damaged, there's always something. But there's literally not a dollar that needs to be spent on this car. It is absolutely spotless. And I just, I can't stop looking at it. And it's been owned by someone very fussy, obviously, which I think is important when you buy an AMG. And uh, as I said, I, I literally, I don't think I've ever seen a car which has been serviced at somewhere like Auto House, which are very fussy, and they're expensive and had everything ticked for the service. So what that means is your next service should be very minor. It should literally require some, some fluid changes and nothing else. So to, to fight, uh, despite the fact that it is an AMG, this is a car which I think should be cheap or inexpensive motoring for the next couple of years. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you have any specific questions about this car, please give us a call. But I think it's a car which you must come and inspect. Even if you're interstate, I think it needs to be seen to be appreciated. Thanks again for taking the time to watch the video and uh, we look forward to hearing from you.